going back to the Shaivite perspectives known as Trika Shaivism, with coming across something astonishing in its directness, but not least perplexing still, that the world has never been created. In Kashmir Shaivism, a notion of creation of the world is refuted. So in other words, the Bing Bang theory is not at all a ground. It is not being considered as a valid perspective. If just saying Big Bang is something to go by. As nothing and out of complete nothingness, that nothingness compacted to such degree of vacuum that it cannot withstand its own density and it breaks, explodes. That's what Big Bang is. And that what we experience today is the result of that explosion, which continuously pushes the universe to further extremes from the center of that explosion. And it is this perspective on drifting off, drifting away, cooling gradually off. Not going to go to the cosmology. I don't want to lose your attention. Back to that perspective on the world has never been created. And this is personally in great resonance here in terms of the utter impossibility for the mind to enter that. But instead of speaking of the primacy, here that what gives rise to the world is inseparable from what gives rise to consciousness. So the consciousness and the universe here are not spoken in terms of supremacy of one over another or what comes first, but rather in terms of that what is perpetually in a state of complete dissolution, complete recreation, sustenance and dissolution. And this is, interestingly enough, reflected in the theories, hypotheses, which came after the Big Bang. And some of you may have come across that. Have you had that different opposite to the Big Bang? That the universe instead is the origin of the universe that scientists speak of. Um, I forgot now this very moment. Um, not the freezing, not the free, freeze theory, but what it is essentially is that it's very, very similar to that perspective where it's not that something took place in a moment in time and we can trace that from there or back there in any linear way. But rather, and this is where the Kashmiri Shaiva scriptures explicitly speak of, that the very terms time and space and existence make no sense and have no meaning whatsoever. They're meaningless terms. Because even when we say universe has always existed, that already a limitation in terms of what it truly represents. Everything is nothing other than pulsation of the heart of Shiva instead spoken of. Everything is spoken in terms of 
awareness and nothing else. And awareness doesn't exist with no, without a reference to itself as the universe. Therefore, universe is spoken as the body of Shiva. So now, Shiva is not entering the universe upon creation as this is spoken in Vedantic texts, Vedic texts. Brahman is created this world and entered his own creation. In terms of the way of how the Shaivites present this, is that it was never created and cannot be destroyed. Because awareness is not here operating with these categories that we perceive through a limited way of our language when it comes to something which is directly experienced by us due to the limitations of time and space. <laughs>